This is my dream truck, and I'm about to make it a reality. First, I'm gonna go buy a completely stock Cummins, and then I'm gonna take it through 10 insane, very expensive modifications. The only problem is I have absolutely next to no time, because in a few short weeks, this truck is supposed to go on a national TV show. Oh my God. There's so many things that are wrong with this truck. It's a monster truck, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look at this truck. Yeah. Are you kidding? We're off to the airport right now. About a two hour flight to go. We made it to the dealership. My truck is sitting right in front of me. 2017 Ram 3500. Longhorn edition, baby. Look at this shit. Beautiful stitching on the dash. Sunroof. I'm in complete shock right now. I can't even believe that this is my truck. Not a damn thing done to it. And it's literally already absolutely beautiful. Back home with the new rig now. Not only am I gonna be spending a lot of money modifying this truck, but technically it's gonna be illegal to drive where I live. When we are done with this, this truck right here is gonna be sitting uh, probably right there. I'm literally so excited to start ordering parts for this truck. You guys have no idea. I am back on the road again with this truck right now to get the chrome gold wrap done to it. Welcome to Raptors Calgary. We got Mitch all the way from Winnipeg. He's coming in to do some fucking crazy shit. We're wrapping his whole truck in a gold chrome. Oh my God, This shit is insane. You can literally see me in my fucking truck. So this shit's literally not even fucking done yet because everything else is stock except for the wrap and it still just looks absolutely fucked. This wrap is complete. This is the done deal. I've been driving around for one day, just one day. And I've literally just been sitting in the parking lot with it, had people come up to the truck and take pictures with their phone. And it's not even lifted yet. Today is another big day for the Cummins. We are deleting it, tuning it, and making that shit sound nice and loud. And I am so excited for this mod. There's literally no sound coming out the back of this truck right now. And we're about to go fix that shit. Here we are, baby. S&M Diesel. Let's get this baby tuned. Let's go. Been in here for a whole two minutes. The pipe's already deleted. God, holy shit. <laughs> I literally don't think you could tell me that there's a better mod to do to your truck than make it sound like money every single time you press on the gas. I'm so excited. We're about to get on it for the first time. All right, I, I would have paid 10 grand for that noise. That's the best thing this thing has so much power now too so much power just listen to how ridiculous this truck sounds now i honestly did not expect this thing to be this loud and it's still in such an in-between phase the fact that this thing has the grill the bumper the headlights on it it's taking away so much from everything that this truck is going to be. All right guys, we're on the road again. We've got a six hour journey ahead of us. We're driving from Calgary, Alberta, down to America, to Bonners Ferry, Idaho, which is exactly where the truck is getting its lift. Wheels, tires, bumpers, everything else is going to be assembled and built there. And I'm leaving the truck 
truck there for the next three weeks. So I'm just cruising down the road and there's a sign that says, world's largest truck. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> this truck is absolutely massive, for real. Literally halfway up this tire. Okay guys, we made it here with the truck. We are at RI Fab, dropping off the truck here and then I'll be back here in about three weeks or so. And this thing is literally gonna be larger than life. There she goes. Last time seeing her this height. All right, you guys, I'm here. I flew into Idaho last night. Buddy has sent me absolutely no pictures for the last like two weeks because he specifically said he wants to see the look on my face when I see just how insane this truck is. We're in here. It's inside the shop. It's in there. Oh my god. Dude, what the f <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this truck doesn't even look real and it's right in front of my face. What the hell? Legal headlight limit at home is 54. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think she's gonna cut it, man. <laughs> Look at this mirror. It's so fucking. Look how fucking tall this shit is. It's just absurd. I fucking love it. Look at this stack. This stack turned out so fucking good, man. Yeah. And all this is possible because of adrenaline off road, baby. Fortunately, we gotta swap the 44s and put on 40s. I mean, if you know anything about boggers, they drive like absolute trash on the road and they wear super fast. I got another set of tires for this truck, 40s on 24s. All right, got the truck loaded up. We're about to head back home now. Best way to describe how tall this thing is, is you know when you pass a semi on the highway and you see how high their window is? I'm exactly level with a semi. Check this shit out. Same height. <laughs> All right guys, so we just got pulled over for the first time with this new truck. The cop walks up to me and he just like looks at the truck and then looks at me and then laughs and he's like, there is so much wrong here, man. <laughs> so I drove about 13 hours yesterday with the truck and I got pulled over a total of twice. Both times, they basically just like, you're completely fucked for even having this thing here and driving this thing in Canada. We gotta make it back to Buddy's place so we can do all of the lighting on this build and finish it up. Ladies and gents, we got this bad bitch lit up behind me right now. We're about to hit the road and drive all the way to Bristol, Tennessee, where this truck is gonna be featured on a TV show. And then on the weekend, we have a crazy truck show. We're going to Music City Showdown 2023. We're gonna have an adrenaline booth. We're gonna be trying to travel a little bit under the radar and not get pulled over because this truck is an absolute heat score up in Canada. And then as soon as we get across the board to the States, it gets a lot better, freedom and everything like that. So as you can see, the truck's a little squatted out right now. This is how much clearance we have to the ground right now. Gas mileage, absolute trash, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm extremely disappointed right now. I've been on the road for two hours. Just crawled under the truck. This is what I see. Dripping out right in there. Seals out, we're leaking tranny fluid, so. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna drive to the first city across the border in the United States, and we're gonna have to find a shop that's gonna help us fix this. I have no idea how we're gonna figure this out, but I do know that we are gonna figure it out. We're at the US border. That one down there is for regular people. This one's for semis. We get to use a semi one. Thank you for your visit and have a safe drive. America!
Africa, baby, let's go. We found this spot last night at three in the morning. I called one shop today. I was like, yo, we're fucking going to the truck show with our SEMA truck. Seal's gone, can you help us out? And they're like, we don't have much going on today. Come on by. Oh shit, a car. The city that we were in, we called every parts place. Nobody had the part. So we had to drive an hour away to the next bigger city. And one place had one seal. And there's gonna be no more issues with this truck the rest of the journey. I'm putting it out there right now. Here in Bristol, Tennessee, we just pulled up to the studio here at Motorhead Garage. It literally took us three days, three days to get here. Hopefully we have the three inch spacers that showed up here as well. That'll make this bitch literally just fat. All right, you guys, I'm super, super stoked about this mod. This is one of the best things you can possibly do to your vehicle to just make it look absurd, in my opinion. So we got these three inch wheel spacers here. Bore Off-Road sent us these wheel spacers and not only so they have their logo there, but they were like, guess what? We can actually include your logo in there too. And if you look real close right there, you get that Adrenaline Off-Road logo. We're about to make this truck get extremely, extremely more aggressive. Holy shit, bro! Dude! Dude, this Well, what's is your reaction, bro? I got used to seeing it on the 40s, and it still looks absolutely insane on the 40s. But this is the next level. Literally about a foot of tire sticking out past the body. This is absolutely excellent. <laughs> I think the height to width is actually perfect on it now, man. Dude, it looks so aggressive. That is, it looks a little bit wider than it does tall now, I think. One thing I did do is I did apply for customized plates and I had them at my house, but I did not register the custom plates yet. What are the plates? B-O-I-T, do it big. Hey there, Motorheads. This is your show, Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Now, you know that there's all kinds of ways to modify your vehicle and personalize it. Now, we have the Golden Cummins here from Adrenaline Off-Road. Mitchell, you can go extreme like this, but you found there's a simpler way for folks to call attention to their vehicle. What's that? Yeah, so obviously you can spend a lot of money modifying your truck, making it look absolutely insane, but there are ways that you can modify your vehicle that do not break the bank and let you stand out in a big way and draw a lot of attention to your vehicle. And one of the best things that I've found over the years of modifying my truck is lighting it up. And there's nothing better to use than an LED rock light. Now you've gone extreme with the rock lights here on the Golden Cummins here. How many do we have underneath? We have 120 rock lights on this truck, which is absolutely abnormal and absurd. Normally somebody can buy either an eight or a 12 piece kit of this rock light and it lights up their whole entire underneath their vehicle. But obviously being the company vehicle, we had to lead by example and just go absolutely absurd and over the top with this. Well, 120 is the record. So if you want to go for the record, there it is. This truck is completely unnecessary. Everything <laughs> on it is completely <laughs> unnecessary and it's incredible. It's amazing. <laughs> Do you think you can do it? I think I can. All right, we'll see about that. We'll see about that shit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. I don't know what to grab on to. Exactly. Oh. oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, good job. Good job. At least you can reach the steering wheel. Oh, oh shit. Oh, 
shit. All right, all right. You are so freaking cute, you know that? Yeah, repping adrenaline. Let's go. So many things that are wrong man, with this drug, I don't know where to start to be honest. It's so high, yeah, like. I know, I know, it's pretty extreme. I'm you know, just being honest with you, you're, you're gonna have some issues. Hello there, how's it going? Good man, how about you? Pretty good, thanks, good. The reason I'm pulling you over is because your truck is way too high to be street legal. So did you have an idea this wasn't legal or? To be honest, I'm not too sure what the laws are in Saskatchewan. Guys. <laughs> We're in Nashville, Tennessee right now with the Golden Cummins. We're rolling around on 44 inch boggers right now. This shit is literally an actual monster truck. Tennessee has so much freedom that we're able to drive this shit down the road here and not actually get pulled over by the cops. The cops be afraid you'd squish them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? That son of a bitch, man. Right and on. That is cool as and nice, man. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it. If you stand by the back there, we've got a stack for the exhaust tip. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Do it, pig! <laughs> We're gonna head down to Broadway, downtown Nashville, and see what people gotta say about the truck and uh, film some good reactions. Broadway, Nashville. I like your truck! Thank you! <laughs> It's literally a cop right there, yeah, and he don't, don't he don't give here. a shit. They just don't care about a monster truck being on the road, and why why would they? It's cool as f right? Yeah. So it's all good. Yeah, look at this truck. For an hour. Look at this truck. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> this is every truck guy's f***ing dream right here. This tunnel right here. Anybody with aftermarket exhaust can appreciate this tunnel in front of us. <laughs> We're about to get on this shit, baby! Jeez. That sounded like a sound wave just... Grand, bro. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Hell yeah. Yo, check out the Instagram, bro. The Golden Cummins. We're hungry as fuck, and we just drove to Whataburger. Only the drive thru is open. Absolutely impossible. Impossible for this truck now. I have to ask somebody to order me a burger. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> and then they just drive away with our food? Yeah, probably. <laughs> How's it going, bro? 
this is gonna sound kind of funny, but my truck's too big to go in the drive-thru and they're closed inside. If I give you cash, could you order me a couple burgers? Uh, yeah, I can get it for you. All right, you thank you, bro. Out of there? Yeah, dude, in the big truck. Uh, what, what, how much did that cost to get that? It's 160 grand in. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> order us a couple double cheeseburgers with bacon. And uh, so we'll see, this is a test right now. Are folks that live in Tennessee honest or are they gonna take off with the 20 bucks? Oh shit, dude, thank you so much, man. In Tennessee, baby, we got the Whataburger. All right, this is how much we gotta give her with this damn trailer and the 44 inch boggers. So loud. All right guys, we are out here in Jefferson City, Missouri. We did some absolutely insane shooting with the truck last night. Had to throw the 44s on it one more time. Cinematics are unreal. Unreal.